Today we're gonna have a major upgrade as for storage because this is the Kingston Key KC2500 2 terabytes. This is a 2 terabyte NVMe SSD Gen 3 per 4. This means it will occupy 4 PCIe lanes. We're gonna have a quick unboxing and then we'll mount it directly to the PC. So, this is um, this SSD uses the NAND TLC36 chipsets for storage at 96 layers. This is a claim speed of 3600 megabytes per second in read and 2900 in write. So I've already completely destroyed the packaging. Okay, this goes between 250 gigs and 2 terabytes as for availability. This also has an hardware encryption cryptography. The mod, the standard is called XTSAES 256 bits, uh, which is compatible with TCG Opal 2, which is another encryption protocol for many antiviruses as, such as McAfee, Avira and so on. As for TBW, for those who are interested in like Chia mining, if that's a thing, or is that already, I don't know. The TBW for 250 gigs is 150, 500 is 300, 1 terabyte is 600 TBW and these 2 terabytes is a 2200 TBW. The weight is only 10 grams. This little dude can hold a massive amount of data, it's incredible. And the maximum power draw is between 2 and 7 watts. watts. So, <laughs> nothing. It's really really dense for the chips on this thing like you can see we have four on this side plus another two I think it's the cache and another four plus the encryption controller and the controller I mean of the NVMe on this other side underneath the sticker which I'm not gonna remove because it's actually thermal, thermal conductive and it helps dissipate the heat. Enough talking let's mount it and have a look and this bad boy and let's benchmark it first thing first let's benchmark it real quick i'm using crystal disk mark of course this is the disk it's 1.8 terabytes effectively And this is essentially what Kingston claims that the speed is. Let's now have a quick comparison with my main Amtec NVMe and let's see the results. So my Amtec drive is the C, as you can see, of a terabyte and let's go! The results are pretty self-explanatory, but let's dig into it. Let's make it clear, there is a gap in prices between these two. But this comparison is just to clarify that not every NVMe is the same. And speed can be much, much more different than you think from a model to another one. And this is why you should check all the specifications I've talked about in the first half of the video. Okay, all the numbers, but what does it feel like to use an NVMe? Especially how it's like to transfer some files from an NVMe to another one. Extremely fast, of course. If I want to copy this folder, which is 2.5 gigs of photos from my boot NVMe, which is the MTech one, to my Kingston one, it takes only seconds 
thanks to the extreme speed at which the transfer happens. And this is great if you need to access a huge amount of data in a little time, such as for video editing or with the latest game, for gaming also. This is like the fifth t-shirt I'm using for this video, but that's okay. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is that during the installation of the drive, after I boot up my PC, I had to format the Kingston drive using the Windows drivers manager because otherwise it just wouldn't work. It wasn't recognized by Windows for some reasons. Not a huge deal, but at first I thought it was broken. Let's now talk about prices. This NVMe drive, which is 2 terabyte, is around 300 euros from the official Kingston website because right now on Amazon you can find it only up to 500 gigs, which is around the same price as other NVMe's. But considering the insane speed of this drive, I can only recommend this. Maybe not the 2 terabyte version because not a lot of people needs that much fast space but 500 gigs or one terabyte will be perfect for most people thanks again to kingston for sending over this amazing kc 2500 and thanks to you for sticking until the end of the video i'll see you around